the Paya community. It is very diverse. They all come from different parts of the world and they all bring each something unique to the table. I think it's a very nice place to live. And the north, I think, has got much more Thai culture. When I left school, I knew what I wanted to do, and I went into work, and then, because I wanted to own my own business, I learned everything practically. So I um, had my own business for about five years, and then worked for a really big uh, multinational company uh, in the sports industry. Um, but as I kind of am moving through my career, I realized that having theory, a basis of theory for business is also really important. Hayat to me is giving me the opportunity to be able to communicate with the teachers really well because there's small classes, it's more personal um, and in most of the projects I do I can gear towards the career I want to do when I finish. So something music is very interesting here in Hayat is because not only do we learn from the book and at the same time the class consists of people with different nationalities, different backgrounds, and different experiences. So a lot of students are bilingual, they speak more than one languages. So as the class progress, and we can see the techniques, the example being applied and shown in class when we analyze our own speech and see how it reflects our own cultural background and all that. I had a passion that I want to work in entertainment business. Um, to do that, I need to I need to understand economic system or business trends in bigger picture. I think I gain distance from studying Pyeong University. Besides from the book, we were given many opportunities uh, through internship, a seminar, or field trips to see what it is like working what it's like to work in different service industry. Recently, we went to international uh, Chiang Mai airport. The biggest airline in Thailand, which is the Thai airline, gave us a side tour and actually showed us the whole process of how a passenger get on board from the passport checkpoint to the airport lounge. It was exciting to see how the airport service is being handled every day. And I saw uh, Dr. Tom's uh, Lodi Bot competition thing, and I was really interested in making robots at that time. So yeah, I decided just to stay here and finish my degree. Dr. Tom, he's just good at making stuff, like building, <laughs> building stuffs. He built uh, he built a lot of game machines. A lot of Tablets and papers and old computers. So yeah, he is kind of my guy. Like I, I really <laughs> admire him. Uh, yes, I'm more into like both software and hardware combination. Thank you.